Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you want to solve it together. Okay, so here we have a person who's increasing her running endurance. According to experts, a gradual mile, mileage increase of 10% per week. Okay, so we're increasing by 10%. So that tells me we're going to multiply by 110%, right? Whatever we start with, we want to increase it by 10% each week. So in order to do that, you get to add 10% onto 100%, and it's 1.1, or 110%. So increasing 10% per week can reduce the risk of injury. So you run 8 miles in week 1. Okay, so you start at 8 miles. Now there's no increase in week 1. Okay. And which expression can help her find the total number of miles she will have to run over her course or six-week training program? So for the first week... You start off at 8, and then you multiply that by 1.1 to the 0 because you're starting at 8. Remember that 1.1 to the 0 is just 1. This is just, just 8. That's so, And I'm writing that way so you can see the pattern here. Normally, I would just write 8. But I want you to see that in the next step, the next week, we're adding up all the total mileage. It's going to be the 8 miles you did times an additional 10%. And that's one time. And then we compound that difference. So it's 8 miles the third week now times 1.1, 0, once, and then twice. So it's 10% of that 10%. This is saying, right, if I expand this, 8 times 1.1, and then whatever that is, all that times another 1.1, right? So we are taking an additional 10%, getting some number, and then an additional 10% on that. And then we keep repeating this process until we get through how many weeks was it? Let's see, six weeks. So notice the third week here had a 2 as an exponent. The f second week has 1 as an exponent. The first week has 0 as an exponent. So to get to the sixth, we would do 8 times 1.1 to the 5. This would be our sort of sixth week. And then all together, we add all these up, right? You would get all the miles she ran, the 8 miles the first week, plus 8 and an additional 10% the next week, and so on and so forth. And that notation matches choice 1. In sigma notation here, Right, this means we sigma is telling us to add up a bunch of terms. In this case, that follows the structure of this equation, 1.1 to the n minus 1. Right, in other words, we start where n is. This number tells you where to start, n equals 1. And you go up to n equals 6. If you plug 1 into this equation, 8 times 1.1 to the 1 minus 1 is this 0 right here. Then you plug in 2. It's 8 times 1.1 to the 2 minus 1, which is... 8 times 1.1 to the 1. And you keep going. You plug in all of the 6 here, which will give you 8 times 1.1 to the 6 minus 1, which is 5, which is our last term here. And this is a summation, right? You're adding up all these terms. Now, don't let them get you. Choice 3, I think I picked that originally. It's really close to... Um, I, it's really close to what, the, what this ends up equaling. If you add up... A, this is a geometric sequence because you're multiplying each term. Right? It turns out you can, you can quickly do all of this. Right? You can add up all these terms by applying this formula. A, let's say the first term, a sub 1 minus a sub 1 times r to the n over 1 minus r. That's just a fancy way of saying take your first term, a sub 1, subtract, in this case, 8. So you have 8 minus 8 times the rate of change, of the rate between each term, 1.1 to the nth, not the nth minus 1, but the nth, that's 6, over 1 minus r. Now, this should, this would have been correct. Oh, I did, they got me. I, I did 1 minus 10%, <clears throat> which is 0. 0.9. But it's really 1 minus 1.1, 1. 1, right? Which is, this, this would be correct if it said negative 0. 0.1 down here. So the way it should be written is 8 minus 8 times 1.1 1. 1 to the 6th over 1 minus 1.1, 1. 1, and that's just, that's just negative 0. 0.1, right? So this is negative 0. 0.1. If that was written there, that would be correct, but this is otherwise wrong. And these, these things here are, are banking on different errors. Like right here, when you plug in 1, right, to this, the first week it would say she ran 8 times 1.1, 1. 1, which is not correct because she's starting the first week at 8. You could make this correct by making this a 0 and this a 5 because then you'd plug in 0 first for n to go all the way up to 5. So, you know, watch out for that. They can change these parameters here. 
uh, and this also is incorrect for similar reasons, but the the rate of change the rate is off, r value is off. The a sub one value is correct, and the one minus r value is incorrect. They added those, so these are all incorrect. All right, hope this helped.